going on? What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Mac Lessons Radio Show. And I'm your host. My name is Mr. Tariq Elite. Also known as Tariq Nashi, also known as King Flex. Let's go today. Had to bump this Soul Train theme. Got to give this one out to Don Cornelius. The brother Don Cornelius died this morning, February 1st, 2012. So we're doing a little mini celebration, a little ashe to the brother Don Cornelius. That was real random. Brother Don Cornelius died this morning. They said he um, committed suicide, gunshot wound. I'm not trying to bring down the energy of the show, but I have to pay respect to Don. He was a player. You got to respect the player. So today's show is going to be extra Mackish in honor of the brother Don Cornelius of Soul Train. Don Cornelius was a true player. You know, they actually kicked me off the set of Soul Train a long time ago. I think I talked about this before. I can remember. 92, 93, I used to go down to the Soul Train set and try to spit it at those girls and try to recruit them and bring them to the crib. And they made my ass go home. They were like, look, nigga, you better dance or get the fuck on up out of here. They're like, Don Cornelius wants you to bounce because you ain't dancing. I was trying to get up on them honey dips. But I digress. But shout out again to the brother Don Cornelius. The brother passed away. But we're going to celebrate today. We're not going to have the spirits down. We're not going to be in a funk. It's the beginning of Black History Month, so we're going to keep it real extra Mackish. We're going to keep that vibe flowing. We're going to keep it positive. We're going to keep it upbeat. We're going to keep it festive. And today's show, by the way, is brought to you by Thomas Logistics. That's my dude, Thomas. He's going to help you get your move on. He's in in the um, Arizona area. If you need to move anywhere you are in the country, go to thomaslogisticsllc.com. He's going to help you get your move on. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, we are still getting donations for Hidden Colors 2. We're very close to the finish line, ladies and gentlemen. We're extremely close to the finish line. We're doing good. We need to go over the limit. Go to kickstarter.com and become a sponsor of the brand new film, Hidden Colors 2, the sequel to the groundbreaking documentary, Hidden Colors 1. And I'm going to have some more interview clips probably tomorrow night. So if you're a friend of mine on Twitter or Facebook, follow me. Twitter.com slash Tariq Nasheed. Like my Facebook fan page, the Tariq Elite fan page. Like that on Facebook. And you can get updates about what's going on with the film Hidden Colors. And the Hidden Colors page on Facebook as well. Let me put on some Mackin music real quick. Let me put on some Mackin music so I can really chop it up with my ladies and gentlemen out there. But like I said, um, Hidden Colors 2, we're working on that right now. I'm going to have uh, an interview clip probably for you guys tomorrow night, so you guys stay tuned for that. And also, today, February 1st, it's the beginning of Black History Month, so we are going to make today Hidden Colors a trending topic on Twitter. A lot of people have been tweeting it today. The hashtag is going to be Pound Hidden Colors. That's the hashtag, Hidden Colors. So we're going to tweet Hidden Colors all day. We're going to try to make it a trending topic on Twitter today. So as you're listening to this, log on to Twitter and everything you tweet have Hidden Colors in it. So we can get the word out there and get some real African Black Moorish history discussions going on out there. Because they're going to start hitting us with a bunch of slave Um, marathons a lot of the help a lot of the maids we're going to see a lot of that during Black History Month so we need to counter that with real information ladies and gentlemen so let's get into some Mackishness I'm in a real Mackish mood let's chop up some game you know what today we're going to talk about man codes player codes we're going to talk about the codes that players should have amongst themselves that a lot of guys are not abiding by certain man codes. Now, I want my listeners out there, I want you guys to call in. Do you abide by any man codes? Do you and your players abide by any rules or set of standards that mandate the actions of your crew? Do you have any partners out here who violate the rules of the game? 
call and chime in. Let me start getting on the phone calls. And also, if you have any other questions, call in with that, too. I'm, I'm wide open. I'm chopping it up with everybody. What's up? Who's calling? This is Polo Miniskirt. Hi. Hey, Polo. How you doing, young lady? I'm doing great. Where are you how call- are you? I'm good, babe. Now, where are you calling from, Polo? Houston. What's going on down in Houston, young lady? Um, everything is good. The weather is it's okay. Um, it's good so far. All right, so what's on your mind, young lady? Um, I wanted to know when you were going to be um, complete with Hidden Colors 2. That's going to be probably in a month I'll be done with the filming, and we'll start doing the editing probably in March. But we're doing all the filming We're doing some filming tomorrow. We did some filming last week. We're going to do a lot of filming next week. I'm going all over the country. So, um, as a matter of fact, I'll be in San Francisco tomorrow doing filming. I'm not letting people know who I'm interviewing yet. But um, we're still working on that. So, we're getting it together. Okay, okay. I watch your stream all the time. So, I just wanted to call in and say hey. There you go. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you for the call. All right, she sounded real cute down there in Houston. I love Houston. Shout out to everybody in Houston. What's up? Who's calling? Man, this is uh, Terry. What's going on? Peace, Terry. What's going on, player? Where you calling from? Man, I'm calling from Chicago, brother. There you go. Right, what's the weather like in Chicago? Is it cold out there right now? Man, you know what? It's actually been nice out here all week. We had like 50 degrees. It's been like 45, 50 all week and shit. That's what's up, man. So what's on your mind, player? Man, I saw you talking about uh, man codes and shit. Yes, so sir. I wanted to, I wanted to ask, should it be a man code that, like, you know, can can your homies bring their sad bitches around your man girl? Um, oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Cause I, I, I say no, because it makes it uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying for every. Cause then when, when we out together with all our ladies, you know, my lady, know what. What you be on, you know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. So that's a that's a good one, man. That's a, I never even thought of that. Dudes bringing the side piece around your main man. lady. Yeah, that's a violation. I had a big debate with my cousin about that. Like, man, did he do that? Did he actually do that? Yeah, yeah, he do that all the time. Oh, God. and he was mad at me because he like, well, why? You know, why is she over here? And I'm like, well, I mean, what am I supposed to do, man? It's my woman. I can't, you know, I can't. Yeah, he I can should, only do so I much, you. man. You know what? Because the thing is, if he's bringing around that side piece, he's already looking grimy, and you gonna exactly. look grimy for being with that grimy e- nigga. You know what I'm saying? E- exactly. Yeah, exactly. So I feel you on that exactly. one. But thank you for the call, exactly. player. Thank you, player. That's a good one, man. That's a good code. Don't bring your side piece, fellas, around your homie's main chick. That's gonna create a whole riff, especially if you a dude. You got a lady, your homeboy has a, a main lady, and you bringing your side piece around. So now, my lady is in on the secret, and now she has to be a part of this whole bullshit. So you bringing other people into your deceptiveness. So I kind of understand where homeboy is coming from. That's a good one. Let's see who else got some some information to chime in with. What's up? Who's calling? Who's the next? What's going? What's going? This is King on the Sports. This is Fire from uh, Hampton Road, VA. And what's your name, player? The King on the Sports. This is Fire. That's what I'll be using on you, stream. All right. What's your name? Oh, uh, well, my name is The King. Your name is The King? Okay. Okay. Well, shit, I can't understand what this brother is saying. But what's on your mind today, player? Yeah, I just called in. I just called to chime in. If anything, I guess one rule that I'll be pushing one man with dudes is, like, no stepping. No, you know, s- no kissing, parts, and clubs. No buying them drinks, you know, no sniffing or any form. If the dude starts sniffing, I just got to remove myself from there. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, man. Thank you for the call, player. Uh, my brother said no simping. That's a general one. I, what was that brother's name? I couldn't understand what the brother was saying. Well, niggas be calling from them damn Boost Mobile prepaid still. I, I wish y'all players step your phone game up. I wish my player stepped that phone game up. We're going to take a couple of more calls and then I'm going to get right deep into the game and shout out to Chicago I got to get back out to Chicago I've been promising that I'm going back out to Chicago for the longest I am going back out there to do a lecture pretty soon Um, my goal is to hit up Chicago and really to get out to to the UK I got to do a lecture out in the UK they've been wanting me to come out there for the longest so I got to come on out there and represent now let me see who else is on the phone Let's see who this is. What's going on? Who's calling? 
Hey, what's up? This youngster out the Bay, man. How you doing, player? What, what part of the Bay you in? I'm up here in San Jose right now. You feel me? But I'm from PA. He's probably off there. You feel me? There you go. So what's yeah. on your mind, player? Just letting you know the man code I live by, me and my partner live by, is a couple of codes. Well, for one, the snitching, no snitching, you feel me? And no cock blocking. Yep. You know, we at that broad, I don't want to hear nothing, you feel me? Give me room to say what I need to say. And, uh, you know, if you feel enough, go ahead and whatever she do, she chews up. <clears throat> you know, then it is what it is. But that's all I wanted to say. Salute Real to you. Keep doing your thing, man. Real time. I'm out of here. Thanks, player. All right, there you go. Right, so let me get into my my part of the game. Let me get into my let me change my Mac and music up and really keep it PI till we DI up in here. So let me get into some of the player codes. Some of the new player codes that we need to tighten up. That a lot of you players out here need to abide by. I'm going to give guys 10 general player codes to abide by. So this lesson, I'm going to need everybody to get your pens and get your paper, get your pads, get your notebooks, and let's get into the game. Because I see a lot of flagrant stuff going on with dudes. I get a lot of emails from people. I chop it up with a lot of people. I hear about certain situations. And there's a lot of cats out here that's in real violation of the game. They violate the general tenets of the man codes, of the player codes. Now, player code number one, man code number one, however you want to use it for my squares, man codes, to my max and players, we'll say player codes. But this is a very important one. Number one, you never wife up the homie's ex. And I've seen situations like this. I've seen dudes be best friends. All of a sudden, you break up with your chick and your so-called best friend is all cupcaked up with your ex-chick. That's a clear violation. Now, smashing the ex-chick, that's understandable as long as there's an understanding about it. As long as you tell the, your, your dude what's popping. If you and your dude is cool, he has a, a chick he broke up with and you find out that the chick is a freak, you let him know like, hey man, the chick you broke up with, man, your, your lady, she's a low-key freak and she's trying to get at me. So I'm just trying to pull your coat to that just in case she's trying to um, come back into your life on some lovey-dovey shit. Your lady, your ex-lady's a freak. So you got to let the, the homie know that. And if he's uncomfortable with that, you go ahead and charge that to the game. You know the old saying, bros before hoes. You know, don't don't mess up your friendship with your dude, especially if it's a cool dude. Right? Now, if it's just some old random nigga that you and a, your associates with that you ain't even, you don't really fuck with him like that, it's understandable you do what you do. But some of these cats are niggas that you grew up with and you dirtbagging them. You, you grew up with niggas and you laying up with their baby moms on the slick. You can't do that. So smashing a dude's ex is understandable as long as you guys put everything on front street but wifing up the homies ex that's a no-no big time violation now let's get into number two for my players out there especially especially the players who go to the clubs and go to social events had a little tongue twister there i bit my tongue and i started tongue twisting for a minute but i'm, I'm back i'm back return of the mac god damn it now, rule number two, player rule, player code, man code number two, ladies and gentlemen. Fellas, you do not coordinate your colors with another dude. I'm seeing little shit like that. I've been out and I've seen niggas up in the club kind of dressed in the same colors. Men, you don't get down like that. You don't roll like that, fellas. That's a violation of the game. The only time you dress like another dude, y'all dress in the same colors as if you were in a gang. You either a crip or a blood or a vice lord or a disciple or you're in a frat. You're a Q dog or some shit. That's the only reason why you should dress in the same colors as another dude. You don't call no nigga up and be like, hey nigga, I'm wearing my turquoise jacket. What you gonna rock? Nigga, that, you don't do that. That's a violation of the game. Let me take a, another call before I go on. The phone lines are lighting up. I want to hear what people have to say. What's up? Who's calling? Yeah, Tariq. Hey, what's up, player? Who's calling? Hey, this is John from Cleveland. How you doing, John? What's on your mind, player? 
Now, I've seen the topic of the show today is man codes, and I was just calling in to weigh in a little bit on it. Go ahead, player. Yeah, I don't know. I'm maybe, pardon me if somebody touched on it already, but, man, you know, the, the biggest code, and, you know, I think I've been guilty of it already, is, man, leaving them messages on them, on them, on them women's phones, man. Yeah, uh, especially yeah. If, especially if it's, if you're in there crying or something, you know she's going to play it with her girls, and you, you're done. Absolutely. That's I, I forgot about that one, man. Fellas, y'all got to stop doing that. Y'all stop cupcaking on these answer machines because women keep them shits. They keep them in their archives and they replay them over and over again. So that's a damn good one, man. Thank you for the call, player. Yeah. Now that's a good one right there. Now let's get into um man code player code number three. Now, fellas, you never whisper to another dude. Now, there's a difference between whispering and talking low. Now, you can talk low, but you don't whisper. Talking low, you be like, hey, man, look, let's go around here and go get on these girls. Man, we need to go ahead and get this money, man. You need to watch it back. That's talking low. If you're trying to tell somebody something without other people hearing, you can talk low. But when you start being like, hey, where you finna go? That's whispering. That's moist. You don't do that to another dude. Never whisper with another damn dude. If you got to talk that low, write the shit down and pass it to him. But you don't whisper to another man. I'm ready to go. That's not Mackish. Now, let's go to number four, which is very important. Now, number four, you never let your homie get jumped. Always help the homie if he's getting jumped. You either help that nigga fight or you help get those other dudes off his ass. Don't sit back. Don't ever let the homie get jumped because if you ever get jumped, you don't want him sitting around looking at you get jumped. So if there's a fight or some shit breaking out, you either jump in or you break the shit up. But don't sit up and let your homie get jumped. And I say that, where are my white listeners? All my white boys who are listening, all my white players, my white dudes, you guys are very good at letting your homies get jumped. A white dude will let his friend get the brakes beat off of, off of him. I see videos of, of groups of white dudes and one of their friends get jumped and the dude who's getting jumped will have about four or five friends who actually outnumber the dudes that's jumping the dude. White dudes will let their homies get jumped and just be sitting there talking shit. Like, fucking dude, that's illegal what you're doing to my friend, man. Fucking dude, brass knuckles are illegal in California, dude. Don't hit him with brass knuckles. Skyler, we're going to be witnesses for you, dude. We're going to testify in court on your behalf, dude. I mean, they be talking bullshit like, help this dude. Help your dude get it in. Don't let your dude get jumped. Never let your homie get jumped. That's a clear violation of the man code. Let me see who else is calling. We're going to take some calls in between my game. What's going on? Who's calling? Hello? I hate when I get interrupted and it's somebody who wants to breathe on the phone, messing up the flow of the game. I'm trying to spit some hot fire. And they're messing up the flow of the game, but I'm going to still keep it Mackish on today's show. Now, let's go into number five. Number five of the man codes of the player codes. And this is for my club players. Number five, you never do choreograph routines with another dude. I've been to clubs and I've seen niggas dancing in unison like the cast of fame you don't do that that's a violation of the general man code certain things that dudes just don't do that's a violation of the game what's up who's calling hey what's up sweet this is jay out of houston damn i can't believe i made it through you made it through now what's your name again player uh jay what's up jay so what's on your mind jay uh nothing less man um, listen, I, I got a question about, uh, about my lady. Okay, go ahead. All right. Um, sometimes when she calls me up, like, she'll hit me up a lot of times, but then she'll be talking to other people in the background, like, you know, order taking and stuff like that. 
and I'll just hang up on her. Am I out of line for doing that? No, you're not. I hate when women do that. They they try to keep you on the phone for all their little menial bullshit. They got you on the phone, and they're on the phone, or they're talking to somebody at school, or they're talking to their mama. They got you on the phone, and it, I, you just say, hey, I don't want to hear all that. Handle your business. When you're done at Taco Bell getting your chicken gorditas or whatever you're doing, call me back. Let women know that you're too busy to sit on the phone to listen to her doing menial nonsense. You understand? Because they try to rape your time, as I say. And don't let them do that. You you got way more important things to do than to hear her at her gynecologist's office or whatever the hell she's doing. So you doing the right thing. You feel me? Yes, sir. All right, play. And, uh, Go ahead. I just put my boy on to you, man. He's feeling it. He's uh, feeling it. Much respect, man. I got to get back down there to your, your neck of the woods, man, and chop up that game. You feel me? Yes, sir. We'll All be right. waiting. All right, thanks for the call, player. Yes, indeed. Now, let's get into the next rule, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get into the next rule of the game. Now, rule number six, which should be a given... You never get into tickle fights with other dudes. No explanation needed. And I've seen some shit like that before. Dudes, you don't get into no damn tickle fight with another dude. Enough said. Let's move on to the next rule. This is a very important one. Fellas, number seven. Man code, player rule. Man code, player code. Fellas, you never, ever, ever put lotion on another dude never put lotion I don't give a damn where you putting the lotion on his arm elbow never put lotion on another man I don't give a damn if he's ashy as all hell never put lotion on another man if he's like hey man I can't reach back there to my back can you get my back like nigga you just gonna have to do without I'm not putting no lotion on your back homie never put lotion on another dude that's a violation of the general man code See, a lot of the codes don't just have to do with you violating the, the other dude per se, but just what men should do all together. What's going on? Who's calling? What's up, Kenny Fleck? It's Rambo, man, from the country. What's going on, Rambo? How you doing, player? Uh, chilling, man. I, I got over with you last time. There you over go. Over here at the barbershop. Oh, yeah, there <laughs> you go. That's what's up, man. So what's on your mind, player? Oh, man, I'll read the topic on Facebook. I wanted to call in and, you know, just chop it up with you. Yes, sir. What's on your mind? Oh, um, what you said? What codes guys live yeah, by? Yeah, kind of, what kind of man codes or player codes do you live by? Or what kind of codes do a lot of these dudes that you deal with violate? Well, you know, since I live in Atlanta, it's a little different. But what I go by, I believe in staying of dishes and, you know, just keep trying to do different things. And my main thing is when I get with a chick is not tricking off. Absolutely, absolutely, and yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of hard down there in Atlanta where the tricking is. Oh man, yeah. we tell him. Oh, I don't mean to cut y'all. I got so many friends. That's all they do. We work at UPS, and some of the guys I cut hell with. As soon as they get their money, they go spend it on a woman. I don't get that. Yeah, man, that's insane. But hey, man, thank you for the call, player. There you go. Now let's get to rule number eight, ladies and gentlemen. Rule number eight, man code. And this is a code that ties into what the gentleman called in with earlier in the show. This is very important. Number eight, you never reveal the homie side pieces. Even if you're mad at him. That means you. Ne- if your homeboy, your dude, is in a relationship, you never ever tell his lady about the chicks on the side. Under no circumstance do you do that. Even if you're mad at him, you don't tell another dude's chick about his side pieces. You understand? Listen to me, fellas. Because a lot of y'all dudes, man, are very gossipy. A lot of dudes out here real bitch made. A lot of niggas like to talk. People and black folks, really, black folks love talking so goddamn much. Black people talk way too much. That's been the downfall of black civilization. Black folks running their goddamn mouths, telling everybody black folks business. We good for that shit. You get mad at a nigga. He got a he got another baby mama over there in Memphis. So we got to cut that out. Don't ever tell a dude's main lady about his side pieces. It ain't about being deceptive. Just keep your mouth shut. It ain't your business. Never get into the middle of that. That's a big time violation. Now let's get into number nine. Number nine, ladies and gentlemen, 
my fellas out here. You never ride on the back of a motorcycle with another dude. That's a general man code. You, you, you don't ride on a motorcycle with another dude. If you need a ride that bad, take a taxi. Never ride on a damn motorcycle with another dude. It just don't look right. You sitting on the back of a damn motorcycle with a dude and your head is laying on his back. The shit don't look right. That's a violation of the general player code, man code. Now let's get to number 10, last but not least. Of the general player codes, man codes, man rules that we should abide by. Number 10, you never look another man in the eye at a bathroom urinal. Never look a dude. You ever do that? You in the bathroom and a motherfucker look over at you like, what the fuck is this nigga looking at? That's some uncomfortable shit. You never look at a dude in the bathroom for nothing. Don't look at no dude. And that goes for the gym too. At the gym, you ever go to the gym? And I go to the gym out here in the valley where there's a bunch of naked dudes in the locker room, which is very uncomfortable. And I hate going in there because the bathroom is in there. I wish they had a separate bathroom in a lot of these gyms, but unfortunately you got to go through all a whole sea of moistness in order to go use the restroom. And then you go into the locker room and there's a bunch of naked dudes in there with, with, with dingleberries dingling all over the place, having casual conversations. You washing your hands and a motherfucker with dick balls and booty hole walk up on you talking about, hey man, who you think they gonna take in the Super Bowl? I'm like, man, if you don't get the fuck on somewhere about that shit. I- I'm not really trying to have a conversation with you, man. And you got um nakedness all around here. And another thing too, man, when people in the bathroom, man, don't make these little moist sounds when you urinate. You ever hear this? People in the bathroom making these weird sounds when they go to the bathroom, like, Ugh, ah, all that old shit. You don't take all that to take a piss. Nigga, you pissing or you beating it? What are you doing? Come on. You don't need to make all those noises in the bathroom either. That's another violation of the game. So let's keep it real mackish as far as that. Let me see who's on the phone. Let me take one last call. Let's see who's on the phone. What's up? Who's calling? Hey, King Flex, this is Bobby C., a boy from down here in Miami. Hey, what's going on, Bobby? How you doing, player? Yeah, man, first time calling. I'm glad I got through and was able to chop it up with you, player. There you go. So what's on your mind? Yeah, man, uh, you still taking uh, questions about the topic today, about yeah. code, man, man codes? Man codes. So what are some of the man codes that you live by, or some of the codes you abide by, and some of the codes that a lot of guys are violating these days? Yeah, you know what, Flex, when it, when it comes to women, I don't think men have codes. I think they'll go behind your back and hit on your female and, you know, and, and, and stuff like that. I've had that happen to me quite a bit. You know, in the past, uh, yeah. where guys will low-key go behind my back, you know, hit my chick up and say, what are you doing with this Bobby C? You know, I, I got way more to offer than him. You ain't going to go nowhere with him. And they start doing that to you, you know? Yeah. So uh, I, I find that men don't really have a code when it comes to chicks. Now, chicks, on the other hand, a lot of times they won't hit on each other's boyfriend, you know? Right. I, I found that, too, right. you know? Right. That's you true. Know? But I, I did have a fast question for you, player. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Yeah, I've been down here in, in Miami now. I moved here from Providence, Rhode Island, which is a small state. And I've been here a few years you know, because I figured I'd come down here and upgrade myself down here in Miami. You know, I, to me, it's a, a step up in life, you know. Right. Coming from Providence down here to, to Miami where everyone wants to retire and the sun is, is shining and all that. But anyway, I, I've noticed that I'm having trouble with the ladies because I'm over my head. There's a lot of money down here, Flex. A lot of guys driving, you know, Maseratis and yeah. all that. And even though I upgraded myself, you know, I'm a little over my head here. You know, what do you think uh, I, I should do? Well, what you got to do, man, you got to start mixing up some of the spots that you go to. A lot of people just really focus on the club scene, but there's a lot of other scenes down in Miami you can check out. Some yeah. of the, the the social scenes such as charity events, golfing events, um, sporting events, um, NASCAR race. I mean, just a whole bunch of different things besides the club. The club, that's the easy thing, but you got all the, the people fronting and flossing at those events. So I Absolutely. Would say, yeah, so Absolutely. I, would, I would say mix it up a little bit because, hey, Miami, there's a lot of females from other countries coming in who just want a real decent do so there's a lot of good game out there to be made 
So yeah, yeah. definitely switch up some of your spots, switch up some of your locations, and just kind of change it up a little bit as far as that. All right, Bobby I will, C? I will take that advice, Flex. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, player. Thank you for the call, player. Yes, indeed. Anyway, y'all, that's been today's episode of the Mac Lessons Radio Show. The phone lines are still lighting up. Should I get one more? I get one more. I'm in a Mac's mood. What's Hello? up? Who's calling, player? That is uh, Tariq. This is Tariq. Y'all all right over there? I hear somebody coughing in the back. Nah, dude, I'm at work, man. It's the Mac Lady, the Lessons Radio Show, man. Yeah, yes, it is. This is Tariq. This is the Mac Lesson Show. What's up? Dude, um, I just want to tell you, yo, uh, appreciate the work that you're doing. I got all your books, man. Just keep doing what you're doing. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm about to get that uh, Hidden Cuddlers as soon as my check drop, man. And, uh, <laughs> there you go. Now, what city are you in again? Yeah. Now, I'm in uh, Virginia, Norfolk, man. There you go. Hey, man, I appreciate that. Thanks for the call, player. All right, y'all. That's been it. Everybody want to call and give shout outs. That's good. Um, I will do a Ustream show probably Sunday. I was going to do one tonight, but I'm going again. I'm going to be in San Francisco tomorrow um, doing some interviews for Hidden Colors. So go to Kickstarter.com. Donate to Hidden Colors. Let's get that popping. Go to Twitter. Let's make Hidden Colors a trending topic on Twitter. I will holler at you guys next week. Peace.